Hello beautiful people, hope so you are having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. So today we are going to cover function with no arguments and return value in C++. It's the fourth and last category of function. However, previous three categories were discussed in our previous tutorials briefly. Uh, this function is actually a one-way argument uh, in which we don't wa pass value from calling function to call the function. However, value returns from the called function back to the calling function. Let's see the basic syntax of function with no arguments and return value. C++. First of all, you people are watching the prototype, which is function type which are which we are using in right now and larger is an identifier and you can see the empty parentheses because there are no parameters present here below which is a function call which is a standalone here uh, larger is an identifier and again the empty brackets again we are watching the function definition uh, in which return type or function type int is present however the larger is present with no formal parameters however the function body is present in the curly brackets so in order to properly understand we are going to do a small example to understand the concept of this we are going to do the addition of three numbers using the function with no arguments and return value let's move towards our visual studio first of all we will write hash include which is preprocessor directive ios stream is a header file which contains input output function and using namespace Lastly, and int is the return type of main function. However, system pause is our return statement. So this is the basic syntax of C++. Uh, let me bigger, increase the font. Okay, here we go. First of all, we will write the prototype, which is because we have return value, so integer, for example, and our function name, let's see, addition with no parameters and terminated means semicolon. Then write the function call, which is addition and no parameters. Then the function definition which is in addition addition here so we are not passing any values we will take uh, we will perform every function in the every operation in the function definition so we have to declare two variables uh, or three variables uh, in order to get addition or whatever operation you are performing in so our variables are a, b, and c. Print message for user, enter values. And do write terminator here and call like this and also initialize a third variable to store the value to return the value back to the main function or calling function so get the sum like this a plus b plus c and return this variable sum and the data type of this sum is 
this int the sum is returning with the help of this data type which i am pointing this one okay so in order to show we have to see out this statement uh, however there's an also an other way which is we ha you have to declare this variable first we can also save this function like this however you can see out the statement like this but I am commenting this because we are not using this method right now we are just using this here okay so you're gonna you also yes here is the our program if we run this then we will get the sum of three numbers let's run the program let's say a user wants to enter three values 10 plus 20 plus 30 it should give 60 here yes we got it 60 so to be more clear also use this here and now run the program again the three values are 20 uh, 10 20 and 30 we should get 60 here yes we got it 60 here it is so here is the program uh, hope so uh, concept is clear now uh, if you have any question query or suggestion for improvement do write this in comment section uh, and in our next tutorial uh, we are going to tell you guys that there are two ways to pass arguments and pa or parameter uh, for function call uh, which are called by value and call by reference we are going to discuss both these concepts with details with deep concepts from beginning to advanced level so guys if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to test your knowledge of c plus plus or java then here are the apps uh, c plus plus programming quiz app is for the c plus plus student however is an other app core java quiz uh, for java student obviously link of both apps will be in comment section uh, like always thanks for watching peace